Hello folks, it is me, I am Biggie, and I am back, and we are live with a new setup. If you can see here, my computer has gone on, off on a little bit of a different color than before, and that's why I haven't been streaming lately, so to speak. But the uh, issue is, um, is trying to set this new fangled boy up. Uh, I got a generous donation from uh, one of my members. Um, so shout out to Ipilux for um, setting me up with this new gaming laptop to see if things actually uh, uh, play a bit better. But um, yeah, we'll test out the uh, systems, sounds and everything for the first few minutes. And if things are a little bit too loud, let me know. If things aren't, um, uh, if things are a little bit slow or if there's any lag, then yes, please. Now as well. So we'll let this run for a little bit and see if things are going okay. If things are okay on the streaming end, then um, we'll continue. Yeah, so just to explain my newest setup, this is of course uh, an upgrade to my usual setup with a proper graphics card now. And um, I was running into a problem with the processor because the processor wasn't strong enough for uh, my, this little guy to handle streaming from three different sources at the same time. But yeah, hopefully that uh, things aren't too loud on that end, and things are going okay on 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 my end. So if people are seeing this live, uh, let me know if there are different things um, going on. Oh yeah, might as well have a little preview of this uh, Final Fantasy X, yeah. Oh, this might get me demonetized. No, 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 no. Yeah, but yeah, they had a um, Final Fantasy um, X to preview slapped into the Unlimited Saga game, just in case it didn't sell. Yeah. But I might edit that out uh, at the beginning anyways. Okay. Let's see who here is uh, joining in on the stream. Um, hello folks who are actually uh, here right now. Um, we are testing out my new rig, my new setup. Um, I am switching over to a different state. Um, state of bliss. Now. Um, I had a little bit of trouble setting up this morning, but hopefully things should be okay now. And where we are at in our adventure, um, everybody is having the time of their lives learning magic in their, on their magic tablet. If we go to the uh, status screen here, um, And go to magic tablets. Everyone is learning magic. So, um, what's the problem with this right now is that uh, learning magic is a very time consuming process. So, if I press tab here to enable turbo, yep, and uh, let's switch over to who has sharp eye, you do. Trap set here. We're not gonna do that trap. Fine. Um, the problem, of course, with learning magic is that it's time-consuming, um, and it's also very um, uh, durability-intensive. 
So I'm picking a particular set of um, familiars to make sure that my characters are learning magic quickly. Slowly but surely learn magic skills. Yep. And yeah, there's no way of going about at it. Um, the other thing that we are faced with is the fact that uh, we are pretty much at the point where we have very, very limited number of panels that we can get now. Because there are so ever so little side quests that are available. So if we're not careful, we may end up stock blocking ourselves. Okay, I can buy a little here. Could use the yeah, first missile guard. I'm designed to do a folder. And uh, rear blade for the rest of them. some rear blade stuff. Sure. Look at all these things people have to learn. Nah. Lots of stuff that we have to learn. And uh, I'm just walking around under City Pharaohs right now, um, killing off as many monsters as I can. Because this is a way to make sure that the monster levels go up. Uh, and we have stronger monsters doing um, normal quests. And with the higher level monsters, Higher level uh, panel. Yep. Okay. Um, and we don't have to be extra careful or anything running around here. We'll even tackle uh, these slimes here. The um, weaker the enemies, the better it is for us to um, farm for stuff. Some panels learned here. Some more aquans we could buy. So let's see if um, 
In the meantime, do we have any tablets? We could still farm for... Yes, there is. So let's go ahead and use our action here to fight the monster. Use magic lock here to stop further action from this guy. Stay there. Uh, yep. That's a problem. I'm saving. much easier and quicker to farm. of magic tablet. Um, it's not like I even needed it anymore because everybody has a uh, turbo off. Okay, we're back to 200 times speed instead of the 400 times speed that we were doing earlier. And uh, yeah, let's leave town. Okay, so just so we have a look at our situation, we have a total of one. Leaving town now. Going to Escada. Yep. Escada has two. Those are huge quests anyways. They're hanging gardens and among other things. The Kalina, I'm not sure they have the wizard's tower yet. Yep, Leotolos' tower, very good. And uh, Wanda will have the uh, Two adventures with the Lumina Stone quests. Next is Zomar. I believe Zomar has uh, the abandoned castle quest. Okay. And uh, let's see what are the quests we have here. We have Vaftom. Uh, Zaravos has no quest, Vathom has a couple, Longshank has a few, but 
It is now time to go to a uh, large caster. Um, and instead of going to do the Healer's Hills quest, these are the, probably the uh, easier quests to do. Uh, monster extermination and insect extermination. So let me just go ahead and pick a new state. State 8. And uh, let's jump in with our party members. We're at the point now where it is important to uh, uh, try to farm for stuff. Already we're seeing lots of these veg plants. Um, wildlife. But um, we will still go ahead and pick uh, the free magic spells before we do anything else. This trickle seal. Okay. Yeah, for those of you joining in on the stream, welcome. Um, testing out my new rig. So, uh, hopefully, you guys will be able to enjoy this at a much uh, better quality. I might even up the uh, um, kind of like output. Things are going well. I use the most like familiar magic right now. Oh yeah. I seem to remember now that uh, most of the things on this particular side of the map aren't aggressive towards us. So we need to go into the uh, second part of the map. Let's just use um, sharp eye here to get rid of some of these vegetable plants. So that hopefully undone uh, the patron will get some nice panels out of it in this adventure. The problem with using magic uh, to learn magic right now is that there's not much else new that we could expect to see. Monsters are on this side of the map, I believe. Oh, we're looking at uh, some new monsters already. You're gonna stand there or put up a fight. Okay, so we'll go with magic lock as we do. Actually, let's use this. No, we still only have um, magic lock here from a familiar. We'll still use overgrowth. No, we'll switch over to uh, use Thunderbringer just for, for this little bit here. Uh, Laura could use Corona. Ang Lee could use Fire Arrows. And Judy could still use Boulder. Someone poison. I have to be extra a little bit careful with um uh, Yanni here. 
because I still remember that it didn't equip them properly for this class. Have a look at our quest limit here, but not after switching character positions. I'll put Platy instead of Muso for a bit. Uh, let's have a look at status. Yeah. Okay. No, actually, we don't want to use Platy uh, instead of Muso at this point. Still probably want more souls, but just not in front. Because we are getting a bunch of tablets at the end of this. Let's go character positions again and go uh, muscle instead of. Oh well. Let's go Francis up front, Laura next. Then Platy switch with Musol. Uh, oh, we can switch with Musol even. He has more life protection than everyone put together. Okay, so let's use this time to stand by for a bit. Uh, use sharp eye, please. Um, let's look at the uh, quest. Uh, road guide right now. We are 24 turns in so we have plenty of time. I Should have picked a new safe state there, but never mind And uh, Let's equip the For now, let's equip the ring of Jupiter The Ring of Jupiter, I said. On Musol. And actually, that's the right button just to heal up. Thunderbringer, Corona, Fire and Arrows, uh, Magic Lock. Boulder. Now we're going to have to be a little bit smart about what we do, but... That wasn't smart, but that's fine. Easy was that. So, not everybody went magic there. Oh well. Let's heal up a little bit. We'll have a look at our party. Set this guy's normal now. Um, can't remember if wandering around will trigger the monster fights or not. Well, nice and big. Uh, Monsters are appearing. That's always a good sign. I can't remember the post that the beautiful post that said that if you if you're wandering around in life and you're meeting uh, new enemies and stronger enemies, that means you're on the right way. Uh, dealing with the doozy of a boss from the real life now, though. Should I rename this run to an all magic run? It's a little bit silly at this point. Okay, let's just 
stand by for a bit. Walk around. Uh, switch you over to overgrowth again. And the problem with like the, the warrior mage build is that you don't you'll have a lot of trouble trying to make sure that everybody gets the, their magic up to the point where it's going to be troublesome getting the panels they need. Like for example, uh, we want melee panels for for uh, Francis, which are not which you are not getting yet. So let's see now. Save for a bit. Nice new insect that we're dealing with. Yeah, our Francis is um, you ever you very 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 rarely get a chance to make uh, him a wood mage. Wood mages, uh, in a better sense of the word, aren't that good. Like the only good wood mage is the one that has uh, Thunderbringer. And Thunderbringer's a uh, skill that is so rare in a normal run through of a game that it's not worth building or not worth um, uh, looking for. So when you get like, whoa, you get a chance to build Thunderbringer, you know, it becomes a little bit of a, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's a rarity. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Crazy Monty. Because Thunderbringer is actually kind of like the premier attack spell that, um, wood characters have. Aside from that, uh, you get things like uh, Mystical Guard and all these really cool defensive spells. Aha! This is a rare opportunity. For uh, Platy Phylum to get some of her magic in. There we go. The Missile Guard here. Shin Crusher does no damage thanks to Missile Guard. Everybody, everybody gets a spell. Everybody gets a spell. Uh, yeah. Do -do -do. Okay, let's go ahead and save on durability here. It's gonna be a point now, very soon, that Henri match, uh, masters his tablet. And we're done with him. If... Ow. It's okay, we don't have to have to learn anything anymore. We can just go on, on his way, starting to learn all his uh, dagger skills. I must find stronger enemies. Yeah. That's the only time in the uh, game. Hey, Frankie! Yeah. It is Sunday now, yep. Well, it is uh, Sunday where I live. Hey, look at all these big plants here. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we could finish this in one go. Use Thunderbringer. Uh, we'll use Corona. 
the spell that must not be named. Um, the bringer over here. Press the right button, please. Um, Henri, you take a back seat. Judy, you can still use Boulder for the third one. And, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, oh. Yes. We all do enjoy a little bit of, uh, A limited saga. There we go. Had a little bit of a um, brain stop working moment there. Oh, come on. Wrong character there, Judy. And uh, let's see if we could get um, some missile guard up. Um, swords coming into action here. Deflecting all this good stuff. This missile guard. Although, yeah. Missile guard does nothing now. I mean, seed cannon does nothing now. Those bites still hurt though. Let's see. I really should have saved in case one of these guys die. But okay. Let's have Anzan use his newly learned spell. Yep. You wonder how many characters there is in total in game, I mean besides the protagonist. Um I made a guide once that has all the characters in it. Something like 20 something, uh, 63? Yeah. Okay. He's the. Uh, he's the uh, expert here. Mosby. Yep. Thunder. Corona. No, actually, this is a really great opportunity for me to save. And, um. Let's see, who are the two that I haven't gone yet? Um, Aegis Shield here. You uh, desperately need to learn some uh, melee skills. So punch. Um, punch. Uh, who else needs to learn something? You need to use magic at least once. And uh, who is the other character that needs to learn melee skills? Do only need to learn melee skills? No. Um, damn it. I think Platy does. And hopefully... Yeah, there are characters that you could play. Uh, um, if I remember correctly, each character appears in at least two quests, and there are nine. And so, I made a mistake there. I should have gone first with Hanzan's uh, magic here. Ah. And Laura's still using upper gut, which is bad. I think because she, she does have the melee panel, so I'm not sure. Yeah. I'll need to re-equip Laura just to make sure that she has the right uh, weight. All right. Okay. Anzan, you, you use Aegis Shield like you were supposed to. Um, let's see. Laura could no. Since Laura and 
uh, Plastic Fire Emblem are using their you know, skills. Yep, I think it is the time for Musol here to use a bunch of real blades. Hopefully, he'll unlock the sword skill. Yeah, a couple characters like Far are problematic. You know, Biggie, if you have played the new Saga Frontier Remastered, no, I haven't played the new Saga Frontier Remastered. Um, to be honest, I think it looks a little bit on the uh, on the next side. I, I think it's a bit too expensive for 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 Assassin's Creed, but um, I I can also always just emulate it. Mm -hmm. But, um... Um... You'll, you'll start seeing some higher level panels for... for said uh, abilities. Once you know that you're done. Uh, the arts have uh, level 1's early. Uh, 1 through 5. So green is the level 1 art. Uh, blue is the second level art. Uh, then there's pink, which is third level. Orange is fourth level. And most of the skills you have go up to level 4. Sometimes there are ones that are level 5, but that's like really rare. Um, let me just uh, think here. Okay. Sure that everybody gets a go at using melee skills. Yeah, I need I need Francis to use melee skills now. But not have let him go first. Um, you go missile guard. Protect everyone. And then Francis can use his uh, purify on himself. And then start wailing. Yeah, by, by, by the time you start seeing orange skills. You know that, yep, yeah, you're pretty much good to go. And, um... You'll see them, see them on the swords, and um, if you know which, what skills you're looking for, you'll pretty much uh, see now. Circle, circle. Our first heal. Um, I think I want to finish this quest now. So let's have a look here. Pick uh, Laura here. Um, go ahead and use Corona. Thunder Bring. Oh. Some uh, melee skills. Oh. Some dice, I think. Judy could still use her boulder. She also needs to use some melee skills sometimes. No, I don't think she needs to use her melee skills. She just needs to use her dice. Let's see if we could. Uh, Get some new skills learned here. Ah, oh, they stunned Laura, which is not good. Oh, I haven't even seen. I've never even seen Poker's Wild Man. Hoping that would happen sometime. Any new skills? 
Nope, but that's fine. Basically, what I'm doing right now is kind of arbitrary. <laughs> because I don't... Uh, my characters really don't need any new skills, or like any new... Uh, like, uh, what they need now is some decent panel. And they don't need any new magic skills anymore. Got to save. Okay. Nice! Talking about new skills. There's Roundabout, which is a first level 3 skill. And let's hope that at the end of this quest, we get ourselves some nice panels. If we start seeing level 4 panels, we're good. We could start um, farming the rest of all of these other quests now. Everybody gets a little bit of magic. Level 4 panels, please? Ugh. <laughs> but we did get... Whoa. <laughs> uh, I've, been f I've been farming too much. I've been farming too much. I, I, can't, I can't deny all this good tablets, can I? Ugh. That's not the kind of level 4 panels that I want, though. Let's see if I could, um... Uh, <laughs> okay, let me do that one more time. Ah... Uh. Good. Fast forward through this. Yeah, okay. Now now that's better. Now we are see, starting to see actual level 4 panels. Alright. Yep, she holds her sword backwards. Right, okay. We'll take this opportunity to uh, pop down swords arts over here. Yep. Everything looks edgy back in the early 2000s. And okay. We do have a kick panel. And we probably want the line of melee to go from top to bottom like so. Uh, I am so tempted to... Yeah, why not? <laughs> this is so bad, though. Yeah, this is so bad for her, though. <laughs> what I'm planning to do is I wanted to do a triangle combo for... Uh, Platy here. So she has... Uh, three tablets and a blender up here, and then a triangle of melee. It's such a bad and rare build, though. Oh, man. Okay. We have a fire tablet. Oh, I, I know what I was going to do. Hmm. <laughs> I know what's going to do. Yeah, Platy is one of the strongest characters in the game. Uh, this is this is highly not recommended, though. Oh, uh, wow. Are we doing this, really? Hmm. Yes. For the memes. Hmm. Holy Seal Scroll. Let me just double check on what uh, Holy Seal Scroll actually uh, has. Oh man. Let's go. Uh, 
Guess where I'm heading? Ram Tiger. Oh man, this brings me back. But okay, Holy Seal. Holy Seal Scroll has a uh, Fire Veil, Wood Veil, Life Growth, Fire Arrows, Missile Guard, Meditation, Holy Seal, Purify, Firewall, and Overgrowth. So just looking through what the um, Holy Seal has to offer in terms of magic stats. Uh, okay. So we could learn moving firewall. Am I throwing away this? Like, really? You know what? Let's just, for lack of a better place to put it, we might just put it on. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just thinking which other uh, character could blend some uh, spells we haven't seen before. Right, we've already seen Crimson Flare. Um, Judy's on her way to learn to learning Stone Rain, which is good. Uh, we've seen Siren, I think. Um, let's see. Uh, we're not, we're not sure. Okay. Um, We'll probably just put this here for now. Oh, that's his familiar spot. Um, I don't want to replace Judy's panels either. Well, let's see here. Monger. No, we don't need this uh, melee panel. Hmm, we'll get some better uh, tablets sooner rather than later. We don't need Asterios either. Where's, what's her dump panel again? Oh. <laughs> Can, uh, her dump panel is where the other magic tablet is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Oh uh, yeah, M Myth's quest is probably the fun, most fun quest that uh, I, I actually played. Kurt is the the one I enjoyed building for the most, though. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. He already has line of keys. Oh dear. Shield Arts versus Obstacle Crossing. This will give him some skills that he desperately needs. This single punch panel will probably be sufficient in increasing his skill though. Oh yeah, I remember the. Uh, I'm starting to remember the the that that really uh, cool. Um, uh, the one that I remixed with with uh, Guile's theme. Oh, that brings back memories. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm having trouble picking panels now. You know what? Here, have a shield panel. Um, and you could use the swimming panel on 
here as a dump panel. Yeah, why not? And Judy... I don't want to play, replace that. Unless that's a free spell spot. Free spell spot? No. Okay. So, Judy, I was planning to go double tablet here. That's her line of keys. Um, melee is something here and something high strength here. So, I guess having... Uh, Punch here isn't too bad. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Let's go ahead and uh, select a new save state here. The, uh, no, I think the night, uh, the final, not, not the final boss. I think the, the, the battle right before the final boss is the toughest one for myth. Right. Let's go ahead and have a look at, uh, what all these guys have to offer. Nothing. Um, here. I have a, I think that's the overpriced a little bit. So is that. No, I don't have anything else good to barter here. Yeah. Alright, so let's have a look at what other places have, hopefully Zadavaz has some uh, wood support stuff. Nope. Let's look at the shops here. Uh, Laura still has monger. Let's grab this. Serpentine. Serpentine, meteorite's useless, um, feather's okay, this is useless. Let's speed up slightly, Vaftom, let's look at some of the shops here, negotiate. Bone, la Lazuli, yeah, we'll pick up bestial stuff. Um, ironstone stuff. Meteorite. Uh, topaz, Bone Cross. Yeah, why Demonite Leggings? Uh, bone, Velvet, Iron, lots of Ironstone, which is nice. Yep. Yep, yeah, but it's not like not necessary at all, actually, to grind your characters that much. The the only kind of necessary thing you need to do with the game is make sure you get um Oh, just give me a second folks, I need to uh take some meds. Okay, all good. Um, negotiate. Silver dagger. Uh, silver. 
Bestial stuff, yes. Um. Okay. <laughs> Pills here. Stone, um, you're right, tortoise shell. We're good for that. What I'm actually looking for is um, some glossed silk uh, headgear. Um, negotiate. This is nice and cheap, so I'll take it. So much ironstone. Whatever you do, don't mistakenly go into um, Galios's castle. That'll end your quest. <gasps> there we go, that's what we need. use all this extra bit of feather and yeah it's fine by the way that was the uh, wooden support uh, item that we needed for our builds we also found ourselves a bit of Moloch. So let's trade that with a bit of... Um, not the support, the uh, arts thing that we just got. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Go have a look at this shop. Uh, it's unfortunate that we don't have the artiste panel. Would have been sh uh, shopping a lot more uh, fun. It's the Iskandaria here. Still nothing. Look at the oak bow and the oak shield. Ash is still inexorably way too expensive. Serpentine. time. Stone shield. And last but not least, Mindu's magical instruments. Ha 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 ha! Wonderful. Okay, so let's head into the uh, Undercity for a bit. There's no New Game Plus in this game. Um, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, let's go into character positions. Um, I didn't think anybody got that far enough to play New Game Plus for, for Unlimited Saga. Let's go pick Magic Tablets again. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. We'll finish off Diva Madinis. Hopefully, um, we'll also get to finish off Blackfire Artist Amadi. And... Hopefully we'll get <laughs> some spells in time. Oh man, this is this is getting ridiculous, and I love it. I'm loving every single moment of it. Um, do I want to keep learning 
Madini not know. Probably just go pick Guaneri for for her now. Still Guadagini for Anzan or good old Petron here. Um Sort items. Category then material. I want you to take a look at our, our backlog of items that we could use to sell. This is this is just ridiculous right now. It's way, 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 way too... Like, this is all level 2 steel, even. <laughs> so, pretty much... Um, gone overboard with all these extra items. Yeah. But, um, we're still good with, um... Yeah, a new game plus is a modern kind of thing. Well, actually, it's not it's not as um, recent as you, uh, you'd expect. I've never seen such monsters. Um, we'll go overgrowth and uh, a spell who must not be named. We still use the wrong color, the wrong familiar, and uh, Judy is still using the wrong, fam oh, the right familiar. Yeah, essentially you're maxed out when you have a higher level panel, and that's a really good gear. So at this point in game, um, the thing you want to do, the thing right now with, with Laura, Laura as her cap is the amount of quests she has remaining. She has very little quests remaining, meaning that she won't be able to get some uh, Yeah, she won't be able to get higher level panels if you decide to just go and farm her quests without, let's say, upping the level of monsters by fighting more of them. So Laura here is... Um, you're stuck be being under level for her if you don't... if you decided to rush through her main quest a little bit too quickly. And right now, since we have all the elemental gears, it's a good time for her to just farm. And learn magic and other things. And... Um, if you didn't know, like, uh, what... Let me see... Yep. And if you didn't know that, then you end up with level 3, level 4, uh, level 3 or less panels facing some really tough bosses and that's that's how you end up being in trouble with Laura's quest actually she's not the only character with very little quest I think Armic runs through that problem um, what's her name uh, Judy is has a really short quest and the problem with um, uh, the quests we have for, for Laura now is that they're, aside from the really short ones, they're going to be like really long, overwinded quests that um, requires a lot of time to go through. Do you think it's part of the design of her quests? Uh, she, uh, she has things like Titan Blue, uh, Hanging Garden, uh, Leia Torless's Tower, and uh, Starship Anchor, and a bunch of really some uh, like really strong, like really tough quests that you could uh, farm. I'm getting some really high rolls here. I'm, I like this. Let's 
gonna go, hey, just do a couple of these and then we'll be done. Sort items. And uh, locksmith here. Nice. Okay, let's see what some of these guys are saying. Frankie says that the Saga team said that they have the success remasters and they want to bring more games back as remasters. It's said that they should make one of them. Saga Frontier 2, Remastered Saga, I'm just kidding. Um, the only Saga games I've played is uh, this one and Unlimited uh, and uh, the first Saga Frontier I played like a long, long time ago, back in uh, high school, I think, or whenever the when the emulation scene just started. So maybe just a little bit um, uh, later than that. Yep, Saga Frontier 2 remastering might be. Yep, if they've re actually remade Unlimited Saga. Um, it better come with a uh, like a really good manual because otherwise this is just gonna be it's just gonna be real problematic. Yep. Now uh, the question is, yeah. No, I'm I'm despite um being really good at Unlimited Saga. <laughs> no, but despite playing a lot of Unlimited Saga, I haven't played um. Uh, a fair share of them. Um, the other one that I played was Legend of Mana, but I don't think that counts. And it's already getting a remaster. Yeah. I think that's the only other game that I've completely uh, run through, like 100%. No, no, it's a 99.9% um, run because I made a mistake in one of the runs. Right, let's go ahead and go into insect extermination. Yeah. Okay, this is not the insect you want to exterminate, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not an RPG like uh, guru or anything. I just uh, got really got into Unlimited Saga and uh, wrote a guide for it. That's pretty much it. The insect. Hey, that's a nice uh, big monster that we could. Um, You'll never know an enemy's true power until you face it. Where to face you? I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, let's use the tech veggie plants instead. A little weak in it. Nice deflect. Nice big bite. That's very true. Um, there was, it's, it's like a, kind of like a generational thing as well. Um, back then when we were pioneers of the RPG genre, uh, we used to just like plow through guides like it was nothing. Pretty much have a lot of fun doing uh, things that way. 
Oh wait, that's rear blade. What am I looking for? Um, uh, kicks, I think. I remember going to... Uh, we were so kind of like adamant on guides back then that the... Rush. We were so like kind of adamant on like guides saying, oh, uh, that there's a whole, there's a whole industry behind it, isn't it? You know, that's where, that's why Nintendo Power was making a leveling, uh, like a proper living. I think what they need to do is uh, make a remaster and a did what um, uh, did what what's his name did what um, uh, let's go uh, go the ways with uh, Texas Ogre because Texas Ogre when they remade it they pretty much uh, we uh, added like a whole tutorial booklet to in the in the in-game, so people can't complain about it. <laughs> hey, this thing didn't have a guide. And um, but we're at the age of like the internet that we're basically we don't. Um, Like, I'm not like saying like, oh, we're a bunch of the internet age. We're at the age where secrets are shared like really, really thoroughly. There's basically Reddit, some subreddit dedicated to sharing secrets within a certain game. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good point though with with how uh, uh, guides are. Whoa! We're starting to see that he was high level. Um, You'll never know an enemy's true waddling, power no. until you face him. Yeah, as soon as you see some of these guys, we'll definitely have some high level panels to uh, go with. Come on. No, I think we'll need Thunderbringer for this. Oh, oh, I, I, I could use Ice Needle. Why are you apologizing for bringing discussion to to a video game uh, to a chat? That's what it li that literally means, it's chat. You didn't... You didn't, um... You didn't actually trust us anything with In this essay, I wrote, yeah. Fire and ice, baby! Whew. Satisfying. So much time just challenging myself and just want to continue the game. Yeah. There's a, there's a difference, I think, between the game being challenging and the game being... What's the good word for it? Un unintuitive, or um, if you ever watched that episode of um, 
What's the show called? Um. Uh, that guy, Ego Raptor. There we go. Um, he uh, he had um, that whole thing about Mega Man X. And he talks about a certain thing called a game conveyance. Basically, how the game teaches you how to play the game. Um, this game has horrible, horrible, horrible conveyance. It doesn't teach you how to play the game by playing it. Yeah. Not like tutorials style stuff, but... Um, but it's quite important to um, be able to learn how to play the game while you're playing the game rather than uh, having the game like uh, thrust upon you and you have no idea what to do, where you're supposed to go, what to do next. Oh, cryptic, that's the white word for it. Here the game goes. Like for the, for example, um, I love Unlimited Saga as as a uh, what's as a case study of a game with good des like decent design but poor conveyance. Like some really interesting designs. Like there's a making of a good game here. The other one that I always refer to as really really cool design but is actually crap <laughs> and not fun is Final Fantasy VIII that's another game that's designed really well oh good I think I'm should be heading towards this direction here Final Fantasy VIII is one of those games that is really designed well no no let me guess it has like um, it's trying to do something new. That's the word I'm looking for. And with that um, premise, they try to add some interesting choices as a making of a really good system, but it didn't carry through. Yeah, of course us guys will, will like eight for what it is, but it's. Um, the same way I like Unlimited Saga that you could, um, once you know the system, you could abuse the hell out of it and just decimate the early game. Oh, well, that being said, Laura and Henri is on her way there to mastering their, their tablet, which is a good thing. Um, let me see now. I'm not sure which what to do next. Uh, I think uh, part of these... Uh, Grassy Hills have um, insects with the catch. Yep. It's like we're, we're all kind of like min master paradise people. <laughs> like, how do we break the game? Well, we'll start finding, once you master a game, I think you probably want to pick, uh, I think once you master something, you start picking and making, uh, like, new challenges for yourself, like I did with my original run-throughs of, uh, un of uh, Unlimited Saga, like, character build challenges and using obscure parts of the game, seeing parts of the game that you've never seen. I need to be a little bit careful here, actually. Yeah. But to be fair, I'm not at a point where, where we're in danger as of yet.
Okay. Um. Full guard. Uh, boulder. And then melee panels, please, for Francis. We need you. And uh, melee panels for Laura. Melee panels for Muso. Not a good sign, but a um, good time for Henri to uh, get some uh, stunners, uh, dicing done. As early as the mid boss, Mussoliani, Lender Burst Delta. Yep. Why does it have reverse Delta? the game to have we won already? <laughs> yep. We've just won. Um right here. I think this is the last one that we need to catch. So use this time to save the state. And look at some of the panels. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy about this. That we're not getting level f level four panels. Yeah, I'm not happy. Locksmith though, oh man. He came at the wrong time, Locksmith. I'm about to learn Seal the Abyss. Hmm. Wait a minute, am I being stupid somehow? Um... Uh... To lock stone rain, you need fire arrow, seal the best, and psycho noise. Uh, uh, let's look at Amari. This magic tablet here. Yeah, you don't have seal the abyss. You do have psycho noise, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top panels are only for magic tablets. Huh. Mm. <laughs> that's that's good. It's, it's nice to share some uh, fandoms with your family. Yep. Okay. Quick fix. Getting Iron Will. Yep, Astarios. Yeah. This is not good. Not very good at all, actually. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely need the punch panel for 
for Francis because he desperately needs it. And he needs the line of melee downwards here if we decided to do that. Fire Familiars would be nice for Laura as a uh, as a uh, panel that um, she could use for, for now. Um... I think we'll want quick fix on one of our characters as a uh, no we don't need quick fix I don't think let's go with this with a level four fire familiar so that he could do some damage while in battle um we said we want a dagger arts for Henri, but that's gonna it's going to put a skill down, but um man. I'm having a tough time picking a uh, strategy for Henri now. Well I guess we'll just put the uh put this here and uh be done with this build. <laughs> uh, okay. If you came a little bit um, later, we'll need to, we'll pick you. But right now you're at a you came at a horrible time, like horrible, horrible time. If we pick uh, this right now, Judy will have a nice. Um, panel here but um no i think i'm not brave enough to replace that yet this is uh, for example completely useless except for earth familiar yeah we'll go with earth familiar in the middle here and uh you swap familiars. Okay. Um, cave guide, road guide, familiar. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll go here. Okay. I think, um, let me see if I could, um, <laughs> uh, get some more items here. Well, at the very least, we got ourselves a bit of Moloch. Let's trade that with some Fang. Negotiate, please. Let's slow things down. Nope, that's the... Okay. Square. There we go. It looks like what I'm going to have to do to end things off with a bang is a uh, go to one of the wonders. That's going to take a long time, though. I'm just thinking if we have I have enough time to do that, or or should I save that for a recorded episode? Sir, Topaz, yes. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, I... Um... Going... I'm not... It's not risky to go to one of the Seven Wonders. It's just... Time-consuming. Yeah. Not, not, um... And the reason why I'm thinking of going to one of the Seven Wonders is because, uh... The Wonders actually do provide quite a fair bit of, um... It provides a private of experience, quote unquote, to make sure that uh, we get some better panels, and then for further for further quests, we'll get better panels as a result. But we're not at the point yet where we could um, start farming for skills. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have a look at my builds for a bit and I know how I'm gonna end this. I think I'm gonna do the uh okay she already has kick no we need a uh, level three throw for her so it's a little early we still need um a throw panel for for Laura uh Henri no you know what? I'm just gonna be safe. I'm just gonna spend um, uh, the rest of my time here farming for a little bit, and I'll tell you my plans as I do some recordings. Uh, so let's go to Iskandaria for a bit. Okay, so let's have a look at our status and look at our status. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I wonder if you could see my mouse. I think you would be able to see my mouse if I... Yes, okay. Right, let's go and... There we go. Hello. This will be... This is infinitely more useful than uh, what we had before. Okay, so let's end things off here. Uh, but with an explanation of what I need to do with each of these characters. So, um, what I want for Francis now, since he already has level 4 swords, he'll be good for the rest of the game for, for his uh, uh, sword arts here. Next is the, these. These three. It needs to be a line of melee. And if uh, it has to be level 4 melee, if possible. Uh, if not, then... Okay, bye Mosby. Then, um... It's gonna be a line of melee right here. And if we can, we'll get Magic Blender over here. But if we can't, no big deal. Okay. Next up is Laura. Again, same line of melee. Sword. Magic Blender if I can. Yeah. So, um... That way that she, she'll have um, decent um, melee uh, choices, things over here. This is my kind of patented Laura build, by the way. If I actually get a level 4 Magic Blender over here, they basically I'll just rush for the end game. <laughs> but, okay, level 4 Magic Blender here, level 4, level 5 Sword here, line of melee here. Her strength will be high, her magic will be high. Um, and I'm gonna do the same with Musou as well. Line of melee. Um, uh, possibly joint of tablet. Um, patented? <laughs> patented, yeah. I figured this out uh, some time ago when, um, basically I just deep dive into the FAQ for for um, uh, Ram Tiger and went through what kind of different panels did what. For example, if you look at the panel bonuses, 
there's things like joint bonuses here and um, line bonus. Like for example, uh, for a character who's skill-based, if you have uh, a line of keys like this, you get uh, a bonus to uh, skill and a bonus to earth. If it's all the same level, you get an extra three. So over here, you get a bonus, bonus to skill uh, of uh, nine skill, nine earth. So skill-based characters make uh, also amazing earth mages. This is um, one thing. Uh, let me just slow things down a bit so that the music actually doesn't uh, hyper make me hyperventilate from its speed here. But yeah, so for a character to have a high skill, you need a line of key and maybe a joint combo of melee somewhere in the top here. And they'll be like real good at, at what they do. Um, we're waiting on Laura to get her line of keys over here, but she won't get those line of keys until she finishes this tablet. Because we're trying to get a certain spell on this tablet called Seal of the Abyss. And once we get that spell, um, we're pretty much all good on the magic tablet front. Um, and then we could finish her line of keys here, um, put some panel here to increase her uh, growth or her strength in skill, and she'll have really high skill as well. Um, with Henri, we're a bit of a mixed bag here. He has high uh, skill growth, but we decided to go with a joint me melee panel here uh, so that he could um, do some damage with his melee skills. But um, right now, he's kind of a mixed bag, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Not all elements are in the same place for each character. That's why some characters are better at certain elements than other characters. Hey, Frankie, you're learning something today. Wonderful. And not all... Um, uh, not all characters have the um, uh, diff have the same making for each of these stats either. Elemental making is different. Ability making is different. Yeah. Okay. So, like for example, since uh, our friend um, <laughs> Francis here, sorry, had a bit of a brain fart moment there has high strength and high skill, he's really good at any kind of uh, melee based build and his elemental making of wood makes it the, the only element that doesn't get away, get in the way of his kind of uh, builds. So um, this is an example of a good character that usually ends up being a beat stick. But if you ever have a wood tablet then he does pretty well with it I mean um, gre the wood mages are pretty much the tankiest uh, mage at second to earth mages yeah so that's real good if he gets blender we could also use his uh, uh, wood skills to make uh, to turn one of his spells into a restor restoration spell so all good on, on this front here but um, next up, when you can see that Laura here has the ability making of strength of four. So anything kind of like strength build is going to be good for her. Lines of melee increases strength. So that's why a good build for Laura would be to have uh, a line of melee somewhere. Uh, and maybe if they were, you're focused on making her like a proper strength build, then just go with uh, a couple more melee panels and an axe and just be done with it. But since we're trying to make her a warrior mage build, you can see her um, f a bit of fire here uh, turn into uh, like a, she has a strong making of fire. So anything that increases elemental um, stuff uh, for her on this side is going to be good for that. But um, if you didn't know already, panel have different make uh, growth for elemental and ability stuff so usually panels with good ability growth have poor elemental growth and vice versa so you try to avoid putting these in the same location same here with Anzan no not Anzan Musoyani he has really high strength 
Yep. Um, but also metal growth in this little bottom bit right here. Yeah. So uh, he's also pretty good at having a line of melee here and some sort of weapon over here. And why 99% and go with swords for these kinds of builds rather than uh, other types of melee stuff is that swords have a deflect skill and uh, deflect skills usually don't require you to have the, the panels for it to work well. So it's going to be, and your sword uh, that uses a, as an attack is going to be on the offhand to deflect and the other one will be the staff or whichever element that you want to boost. Henri is just all over the place right now. I'm really unhappy with how long Henri turned out. <laughs> yes, um, but um, we'll see if we could uh, save him by uh, giving him some decent uh, growth in... Um, we're not... Uh, yeah, we're giving him some decent growth in either skill or s something or... I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm, what I'm going to do with Henri for the moment. Judy, though, I'm happy with. We're having a line of keys down here. And uh, combo Earth. Yeah. But if you look at... Um, just look at the um, panel bonus here for... Come on. Correct button, please. Yeah panel bonus here. Having a joint bonus of uh, magic tablets really, really just puts um, you into the, hey, I'm a really good mage territory. Yeah. Okay. But I think that'll be uh, done. That'll be it for now. Um, the... Uh, where was I going with this? Yep. So basically, I'll be trying my best to get... Well, he's okay. Laura definitely needs one more panel before we could tackle um, uh, one of the exploits here. And um, Henri, I'm not sure where I'm going with Henri, but we'll, we'll figure that out soon enough. Judy needs to master this tablet. Um, and... We'll go with something special for, for Platy here. Anzan's doing okay. Yep. Let's see if we could um, fight some more a enemies. Okay, you go overgrowth. You still need to... Ah! Finally have fire arrows as a... Uh, uh, familiar skill. So, in record time, too. And by record time, I mean way too late. Um, finish off these two tablets and um, I think um, I'll be done with the stream and we'll probably make some sort of recording uh, like go back to recording stuff I wanted you to use sharp eye A good way to figure out whether if you are in the end game or not is basically coming here and seeing the levels of treasure chests. If it's in the kind of like 60s and the 70s, then you pretty much already need to. Um, then you can head out and try yourselves at the. Uh, some of the other smaller quests now. Alright. Let's 
kind of good, because now we could have you... <laughs> ...use the wrong spells. And, uh... What else could you do? Uh, punches. Or something. Everybody gets to learn magic. <sighs> wow. Okay. Actually, just... <clears throat> Things I do for love. <laughs> over to the spell that must not be named or else I get demonetized you have shock now yep As long as one stays alive. And I think that's a uh, pretty a good stopping point for the stream. Oh, actually, let me just double check this chest. Yep, it's a good stopping start point for the stream. Um, and we'll see each other again on like regular episodes as I figure out this, um, my new setup, get up. But thanks everybody for joining in. Um, I'll be back with more Unlimited Saga uh, soon. I might take tomorrow off, I'm not sure. Uh, depending on how much recording I might get, I'll get done tonight. But I'll need some... Basically need a little bit of a break. I can't sit for long periods of time, as some of you might know already. Thanks for joining in, Frankie. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Um, also, uh, a kind of a reminder. If you look down at the bottom there, there's a membership program. Uh, if you... Uh, become a member you'll get to see all my episodes early and free of ads while they're while they're set as private um, as well as set as members only and if you do do that then uh, make sure that um, well, you also get some uh, nice perks such as all those little um, what am I thinking uh, stickers I'm still saying stickers instead of um, emojis yeah for from uh, to use on my channel but that being said uh, I want to thank my uh, first premium member Apilux for first supporting me in the channel at the highest tier membership and he also has a couple uh, like basically got me all this awesome gear to review from this one uh, to this thing to a couple of new stuff that you might see soon but anyways folks Thanks for joining in. It's me, I'm Big, and I'll be back. See you guys soon. Now let's see if I can turn off this stream properly. No, I can't. <laughs> Guess I'll have to wait.